Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a Didi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound, wow, to our time and space continuum. And so the only time by which we tell time is divine time, dig what I'm saying? So let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what, what shall we do let's. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Let's just get started. First up, three of fire. Make sure these are in the right direction. All right, three of fire, five of wind, eight of fire, mother earth, five of earth, and 10 of water. Make sure everything is visible, visible. Move you up, there we go. I keep forgetting just how much room is on this table. Hmm. Oh, look who's here, one moment. Good morning, pretty kitty. All right. <sighs> okay. So, three of fire. Standing on promises. You promised, I'm gonna stand here and wait until it comes to me. I'm um, also. I've done what you've asked. And, um, Anticipating my reward. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is like uh, when you do the right thing and the benefits of doing the proper thing have not come in yet and you go on knowing that when it is time, you will receive your just rewards. Uh, five of winds, there may be people around you that speak against you for either doing the right thing or waiting for that reward to come in, you know, um, people telling you or talking about how, how they would never. They would never. Okay, well, you don't have to. And if you would never, then don't. But this, uh, this idle chatter is, it's not really, it's not really important. This is just to let you know that it's actually there. You continue to wait because um, you will be receiving word that your good deeds did not go unnoticed. Okay, this is actually building towards your, your karmic balance with Mother Earth. When you do the right thing and you are operating in your best intentions, then good things happen to you, right? Um, regardless as to how it looks with the five of Earth. Sometimes it looks like that reward is a punishment 
Wow. Okay. And that the, or, mm, there's something about isolation in here too. Sometimes that reward may look like a punishment to someone else, um, but you're being pulled aside and set aside uh, so that your actual your actual social circle, your actual support system, your actual, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, community, reveals itself to you, uh, leaving you with the 10 of water, which is absolute emotional happiness. Lovers, father of wind, sister of earth, Six of wind, fool, and seven of earth. Everything we do is a choice. And sometimes we choose the well being of others over our own. But you choosing, you choosing your own well-being, regardless as to what the others have to say about it, clears this path for you. Hold on a moment. Huey, 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 Huey. Even when you have love for your fellow human being, uh, there is a certain way that they need to treat you. And I need to make sure that this actually worked. Hold on. So, yeah, even though you have love for your fellow human being, there's still rules of engagement. There is a standard by which you actually choose to engage, right? Um, there's a, a shield there. Hmm. Which makes sense. I mean, if you're walking in, if you're stepping into your royal nature, there's going to be um, barriers between the others and yourself. And again, it's not something that is selfish per se. It's more self-preserving than anything else. So two of wind, seven of wind, and brother earth, there may be some decisions that you don't want to make regarding this uh, maintenance of your royal nature. Ooh, yeah. Um, because when people start walking or stepping into, stepping into their own power, um, it stirs up the ire of those who either can't or won't for themselves and there's a there's that they they get they get a little testy just they, they get a little testy testy or not once you make this decision the rewards of making that decision come to you but the rewards can't come until you actually make the choice. Whew. You gotta make the choice though. For water, father of water, sister of water, one of water, goodness, wheel of fortune, sister of fire. And making the choice um, can be overwhelming. Especially if you are not accustomed to following through with the decisions you make. Making the choice is just the first step. But there are multiple steps. And I think sometimes, especially if we are operating in that space where you don't want to make waves, 
you don't want to cause a scene, cause a fuss, that um, it becomes overwhelming to, to think that you actually have it in you to push forward and stand down on the decision you make. And you also go under the impression that you have to do it yourself. You don't have to do it yourself because source is always with you. And that's what I'm getting out of this four of water here right now. Source is always with you. Even when you feel like you can't go on, source is right there. All right. Father of water and sister of water. Father of water more so understands how rough it can be. There is no... There is no more formidable enemy than yourself. Okay. And you sometimes do have to battle you for your own, for your own benefit. Right. A sister of water is here to kind of guide you through the beginning of that process. She's learning how to, she's learning how to do it herself. You know, this um, dealing with big feelings. It's kind of like when you're going through, going through puberty and in your teenage years and just like, Oh my gosh, everything was so intense. It was intense because it was new. You make a lot of mistakes because you don't know what you're doing yet. You know, Sister of Water is in that really Huey. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Come pop a squat. And if you go over there in that corner, I'm just going to ask you out of here and I'm not letting you back in. Come here. Come on. All right. Sister of Water is here letting you know that, you know what? Hey, the stuff is new. The stuff is new. We're going to make mistakes, but you know what? We are committed to the learning process. One of water, clear heart, ready to go. We're committed to this learning process. This uh, wheel of fortune here. Things are constantly changing, constantly moving. And if things have been, if you have been in this five of earth energy for a while, uh, just know that the wheel of fortune is moving in your direction for your favor. Sister of fire right behind it, um, basically letting you know to enjoy the ride. It's beautiful here with this rotating scenery. Have you ever been on a train and just watched the landscape go by knowing that you are, you're insulated from the elements. You can enjoy the scene but the scene is forever changing because the train is consistently moving. That's that sister of fire. It's like um, enjoying the moments for what they are and not reading any more into it than what it is that you are able to perceive. Brother of water, temperance, star. Love it when these two wind up next to each other. Hanged man, strength, 
and High Priestess, which is actually my card for the day. All right. So, Brother of Water. The sweetness of being present in the moment is like no other. Sometimes you can take a very big moment to appreciate right where you are and it can fill you with so much emotion that you kind of tear up a bit. Uh, Brother of Water is, he is, he is in that moment. Brother Man, stay in the pocket. He, did, he is right there. For those who have become jaded to love in general, this seems silly. But this kind of energy that the brother of water has to bring is, it actually helps us enjoy our time here better. You know, the, Because you need to have that, you have to, you gotta have that love. You've got to have that sense of wonderment that you've gotta be open to receive the good things. Because the good things are here. You don't wanna miss them all. Temperance and the star you don't want to miss them all. And you need this love, temperance. You need this love in order to add it into the great work of art, which is your life here. All of these things, their strength here, I'm going to get to it in a minute. All of these things work together to create your earthly existence. And it can be great. I hear you. It can be great. Just know that you have all of these ingredients working for you. And then the heat that the star has to bring, baby. Because the stars that we see are so far away, there's this uh, misconception that they are cold. They are not cold. They're just far away. If you have a candle and you stick your hand right up to the candle and hold it there, if you hold it there long enough, you will burn your hand. But if you take your hand further back from the candle, the heat, the effects of the heat are going to be felt less and less, but it doesn't burn any less brightly. Okay. There's so much more going on within the mechanics of the star that are above your pay grade. And don't, all the things that are going into the star, they, uh, yeah, they're above your pay grade. What you need from the star is what you get from the star and nothing more, nothing less. Hangman, strength and the high priestess. Look at how you're merging with yourself in order to get the messages. You're going to be doing something different. You're being called to do something different with how you're blending and how you're communicating the source. Yeah, your, your method of operations are being examined and you may find yourself making some changes. Because this isolation 
on account of this isolation too. Yeah, that's the gift. The gift is the isolation so that you can have the time and the space to examine how you are merging and how you're showing up. So be present and know that there's much more going on with you. There's this grand design that is happening with you that's greater than you. But it's working out. Trust the process. Trust the process and stay connected. All right. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. I will see you next time. Bye now.